is something you don't see every day. Can anyone here do this? Okay, I have never seen that. I'm going to give you a real look into the tools I use. You know, my majority of my scissors I actually keep in this stand right here that stays sort of by my station. Um, but I actually have, I wanted to show you what it really is like in, in my, my tools basically. So here's my scissors. Um, I keep in the top drawer. They, these were a gift from the salon guy. Amazing. Um, these are my go-to scissors. Um, I really like these black ones. Um, I use these in most of my videos or most of my haircuts. I have two different types. I have a five inch and a six and a half inch uh, pair of these, which I absolutely love. Um, but, you know, it's not super clean, but that's realistic. You know, in the second drawer, I keep a lot of updo stuff. Um, you know, these are actually for hair extensions. Um, these are all my updos. I set, I do keep easy access to uh, a set of clipper clipper guards right there. So purely because it's quick, I can just open it up. Um, and I do a lot of if I do a lot of men's cuts, it's all sort of laid out. So I make it accessible. But these are all my brushes. I, I always go to the Aquage. I love the ball bristle brushes. I think they're amazing. Um, my gloves and then on the side these are actually clean but these are super clean um, i keep them in a ziploc baggie um, these i use on occasion these are the main ones i use but they're cleaned all the time and then down the bottom are my capes please kind sir do not cut my hair <laughs> no! No! Um, i just got these new capes uh, and my caps for color so Realistically, I know it's not super clean compared to a lot of people, but it's a realistic view on what we have to use, you know, that's just my tools that are close by that make my job easier. So on the tray that I have next to me sort of 90 to 100% of the time, you know, obviously my foils, I always separate them so it makes me my time better. My scissors, these are my go-to scissors. You know, the salon guys stuff, I really have been enjoying. The dust, I use a lot, and the loft hairspray, it's a matte finish, I really like that. And obviously, clutch um, for my men's cuts, um, I keep that there. Along with ice, I, I normally have this close by too. I've actually got the clutch XL, but this was the last, of, the last one I have, so <laughs> um, we're almost finished with this one. But, so, that's my sort of go-to. This is sort of beside me 100% of the time when I'm working. Um, it's important to have your tools close so it speeds up the time. But it's just a little example of what I have around me, sort of, to make it easier. Okay, I don't wanna know nothing. I never saw you throw that gentleman off the balcony. And all I care about is, are you happy with your So to give you a bit of an understanding of where I'm working, or which chair I work in, I work at the very back. Obviously, all the way there um, towards the back of the salon. I have my color bar right behind me, so I mix up the color right there. So again, just speeds up time and allows me to get my clients in and out as quick as I need to be. So we're almost completely full now. We have one chair left open to rent, but that's sort of the rundown of the way I work anyway. Hey, don't forget to go back and watch some of my other videos so you know who I am, so you know what I'm capable of doing, so you know where I come from, um, a little bit about me. you got to watch some of my other videos to get an understanding of who I am and whether or not you like my channel. So I really hope you like it. Please hit that thumbs up, hit that um, subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. 
I'm definitely open to uh, any haircut or I'm willing to try any haircut that you guys would recommend. If you want to see something, let me know in the comments down below. Mm.